A legend told by Indil, son of Bundich. The great earth-shaking story. A very long time ago, the people lived in this land, and there was a great plenty. But since the great earth-shaking, which they say happened according to traditional legends handed down from generation to generation, the whole face of the country underwent a great change in appearance. Where there were hills before the great shaking, there were now plains. Where there had been plains, they had become hills. Also, after this great shaking, there were fearful rushes of a great wind, accompanied by smoke and dust. These lasted some considerable time, perhaps a day and a night, or even longer. The men, women and children were in a bad way because of the foul air. In fact, lots of them died from the effects. Then, all of a sudden, a very strong wind came and revived all those that had survived, blowing away the foul air and smoke. Then suddenly, there was a great shock and terrible claps of thunder, and great waters rushed all over the land. The remnants of the people and the animals were on the high ground, and so escaped through the big water. After a little while, the strange big water rushed back and left stranded large quantities of fish, many of which they had never seen before, jumping all over the land below the elevated ground on which they stood. Now that this great big lot of big water had gone back, they all went down from the elevated ground, gathered as many of the stranded fish as they could carry, and took them back onto the high ground, made a fire, cooked them, and made a good feed. For this they were really pleased, as food was not easy to get after the upset the country had experienced. There was one thing that puzzled them greatly, and Indil insisted on this. That was, that the sun did not rise and set in the same direction as it did before instead of rising north and setting south, which Indil swore it did, according to what he had been told by his elders, it now rose east and set west. Mm -hmm.